to this video on how to create an assembly drawing using Fusion 360. As you can see, we're going to be producing a drawing like this, and we're going to be using the assembly we created in a previous video. So if you haven't seen that already and you want to follow along, go see how to create an assembly and then come back and watch this one. So here's the assembly we created last time. What we're going to be doing is creating a new drawing from the design. So we go new drawing, from design and then make sure we've chosen the correct template if we've got more than one if you've got a template that you keep in a central location just go into here find it and use that but I've saved this one in this folder it's worth remembering that if you want an A3 template when you print it out you need to do it as an A3 template when you create it you can't just scale them up and down if you want to produce engineering drawings so at the moment we've got this view here but instead of that view, I want the back view because I want to be able to see the split pin. So I'm going to go to the back. So now I can see the split pin. And this is a bit small for what we want because we're only going to be having one view. It's not an orthographic drawing where we've got the plan and the right and so on. So we're going to go two to one. And we're going to drop that here. Say OK. And then right click on the drawing. Projected view. And normally we would do that and drag this out and that would produce this view here. Now that's fine, except that we want to cut this in half so we can see the inside, see the relationship between some of these components and how they work on the inside. So instead of having this view here, I'm going to delete that. And we're going to go to drawing section view. Now the first thing I need to do though is to move this across so I can actually get access to the drawing. Close this down a bit and then drawing section view. What will happen then is we select the drawing we want to do the section view of, then it will ask us where we want to do the section from. So it's going to snap to points on the drawing. So we want the center of that part of the rod down to the center of that part of the link and press return. And then it will project it out. So now we can see if we take it this way, it shows one side then the other. So we want it to be here. And if we want to change which of these parts will be cut, so at the moment it's going to produce this result. It's going to put hatch lines inside these objects here. But if we didn't want this part to be hatched, if we wanted to show that that was solid inside there, or if we wanted to show that that was solid and that this was the only part that was cut, instead what we could do is to change the options we had on the right hand side and we could say only cut the link so we say don't cut that don't cut that and don't cut that and then we say all right let's drop that down there you can see this time all it's done is cut the link and not the others so it shows that that's still inside there if i wanted to have hidden details on i could of course go back and change that in my settings when i put it onto the screen now once I've done this, I need to then balloon reference these parts so that I can identify what each component is, what drawing it references, what material it's made from, and so on. So I go over to Tables menu, Balloon, you can see that B on the keyboard gives you a shortcut key. So choose Balloon and then click on each component and drag. And based on the order in which you put it into your drawing, your assembly drawing, it will tell you which component is number one, two, and so on. So we close that, add a table, and then just need to put this in the corner. And you can see it gives you the item, the quantity, the part number, or the name and description, and so on. So there we go back out. You will find that you will need to adjust your and edit your title block. So double click on there, edit title block, go in here, change any of the parts you need to. Obviously these parts are being automatically filled in, but you can go back and change those if you need to. Once you've finished editing it, finish title block, double check that you're happy with all of your drawing. You can move these parts around if you need to. Simply go to the move tool, pick them up, move them about. But for now I'm happy with what I've got. So I'm going to save it give it a name i often try to 
make sure I'm doing different versions of engineering drawings, so I'm going to call this S, just save that one. And then when I want to produce it for print, I go to PDF output, save it in the file where I want it, and then open it up in my program of choice for printing PDFs and print it out. When printing, ensure that you are using the full size of the drawing and not shrinking to fit the page size because the image itself does go all the way to the edge of the A3 or A4 page. So if you don't pay attention, what will happen is this whole thing will shrink slightly and then it won't be as accurate as you need it. 